Mr. Speaker, on Friday during Premier's question time, in response to a question about Arbitrate, I indicated that enhanced due diligence was conducted by way of access to the, and I quote, international Interpol system, end quote. I would like to clarify that statement. The information systems used by Bermuda's Financial Intelligence Agency to facilitate enhanced due diligence requests contain information from multiple sources, not solely Interpol. Though this is a minor distinction, I felt that it was important to clarify for the record. Mr. Speaker, Section 18 of the Financial Intelligence Agency Act 2007 gives the Financial Intelligence Agency the power to disclose information of its own volition or upon request to the Minister of Finance if the disclosure is for the purpose of enabling or assisting the Minister to discharge their functions under any statutory provision. Mr. Speaker, as directed by me, the Ministry of Finance requests additional background information on the company, its principles, and its beneficial owners. Based upon the information provided by the financial intelligence agencies, in addition to the checks already conducted by the registrar of companies, the Ministry was able to proceed with the application. Mr. Speaker, there has been a lot of attention given to Arbitrate inside of this House, in traditional media, and in social media. Some of this co commentary has erroneously conflated the government's approval of a license for this company to purchase property with due diligence done on any digital asset issued by Arbitrate prior to incorporation in Bermuda, specifically the Dignity Token. I wish to make it clear to this Honorable House that the government of Bermuda has not examined, scrutinized, or approved any digital asset issued by Arbitrate, and to date no application has been received under the Initial Coin Offering Act for the issuance of a digital asset. Additionally, there has been no license issued by the Bermuda Monetary Authority to arbitrate to conduct a digital asset business. The approval for a company to purchase property is wholly unrelated to, is wholly unrelated to the Bermuda's digital asset regime, and it would not be correct to state that one will affect the other, or to imply, as some have, that approval to purchase property is a sign that other approvals are imminent. Mr. Speaker, it is my hope that following this explanation, all persons, both inside this House and outside this House, will allow the process for any license which may be issued to any company looking to conduct digital asset business in Bermuda to follow its normal course. We should trust the systems in place and the independent Bermuda Monetary Authority to protect investors and the reputation of Bermuda. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for allowing me to make this short but important personal explanation.